how to create a whirlpool effect like this in Photoshop. Create a gradient or just use an image. Now I created this using a rainbow and using difference. Please check out my videos on how to do that. Once you've got this sort of design, simply go over here and select the single row marquee tool. Click document multiple times. And as long as you've got this option here, the second option, that's add. So it adds to the selection. You create multiple lines. You can do this 15, 30 times. Then go to select and then modify and expand. Now I've done this in previous videos, so please check those out as well. This is 20. And then you can go to select and again modify and feather. Make certain it's less than the 20, so it's 10. Otherwise it just will not work. Click OK. And then go to edit and copy and then edit and paste. So you're editing and pasting it, creating a new layer. You can see the layer there and you can resize this. So simply use transform. There you've got those on. Make sure you've got that on and you can then move this around and reposition it and press return. Now you can make this a bit smaller or larger up to you. Once you've done that, long as it's at an angle, that's the key thing, it needs to be an angle. No good if it's on the straight line, horizontal or vertically. But then go to filter, and then you go down to distort. And by changing the angle, you'll get different results. If you've got 60 or 45 or minus 50, it will be different. And you can go for wave. And in wave, set the generators to be one, and go for wavelength 36, 264 for the max. Now, of course, the settings for you will vary. Also, 132, 325, that's for my settings, and also repeat. But again, you may need different ones. And you can see the design there, very small preview, but click OK. But what you can do is you can delete this background. So I'm just gonna delete that, and yes. So I've got this design. Now I can modify it in other ways. I can apply other effects to it, but I'm gonna go over here and say edit and define pattern. Now, as long as it's smaller than 5,000 or so, it should be okay. It will be saved. So you can see Whirlpool there. You can call it anything you want and click okay. Now it's not a Whirlpool at this point. What you need to do now is I'm gonna go back to that original design and I'm gonna remove this layer. I don't need it anymore but I've defined it as a pattern, so it's stored away. And then I can go to edit, and I can go to fill. Make certain you select the pattern option, that's in the contents, and you've got custom pattern there. Click the one that, there. Now this one is slightly different than the previous one, which had the embossing, but this one is this new one that I've just created. Custom pattern, make certain the script is on, and symmetry fill and normal and click OK. And now, again, depending on the size, depending on how big the lines are, all those sort of things, how many you created, it will be different. Go for seven for the dilative, 1.24 or 1.25 is the max. Also 82 and zero, you can vary it. So you just change it and the result will be different. So if you go for minus 53 or 50, the result will be different. You've got that, and also set the color randomness if you want it to be varied. If you don't, just put it down to nothing, just down to zero. I like it to be color randomization, and click OK. And then that's the end result, a lovely whirlpool effect. However, it's not the end of it. Because I mean, it's great, it looks great, but it's a bit of a, not exactly what I want. Filter, and go down to stylize, and go to oil paint. Now in oil paint, it nice, creates a nice smeary effect. Go for stylization to the max, cleanliness to the max, turn lighting off. Never ever use that personally. So click OK, and now you've got your end result, this whirlpool effect. Spinning around, you can actually see the spinning go as it turns around into the center. And of course also what you can do, image adjustments and levels. You tweak that, just put the change input levels, and there. Up to, of course, you don't have to. And you can also, of course, change the colors, use various other adjustments as well. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you.
I'm going to add lots of new videos on this subject as well as others. Please subscribe for those and also a like or dislike. Always great to hear as well. Bye.